Welcome to Eating Art, Living as Artists in the Adirondack Mountains, where I dig up my ideas right out of the ground. Look, I've discovered something. Looks to be a box of some kind. It looks like an ancient artifact. And it's got a book inside. What a discovery. Let's go back in the studio and we'll look at it a little closer. Hi, I'm Terry Young from my studio in the Adirondack Mountains of New York State. My wife Sue and I were married and started a business together over 40 years ago. Young Studio and Gallery in Jay, New York, on what was then a quiet country road. This Eating Art channel will tell the continuing creative story of Sue and I as we live life as artists in the Adirondack Mountains. This is what I just dug out of the ground. You saw me, and it's got a book inside. I've got some explaining to do. This was part of an art performance piece titled New Digs. We made the grounds around our gallery look like an archaeological dig site. Parts of the grounds were roped off and sod removed. And Sue and I made a drum rhythm to go with a poem titled New Digs. And then I dug into the ground and discovered this object with a book inside. The object is a clay box, glazed and fired in a raku kiln to about 1600 degrees. I've not been gentle with this piece, and over many performances it has broken and cracked. But for me, that only adds to the authentic look of the piece, which is what I was trying to achieve in the first place. The book is a single signature binding and contains a collection of poems that I wrote. The cover is a thin wood and paper veneer on binder's board. Inside the cover is a Japanese paper with gold and silver flecks and the signature is Arches Text Wove Cotton Paper made in France. I used an inkjet printer for the type. Sue distressed the book to make it look old using foot stomping on gravel techniques that she developed just for this piece, used to tea bags, a touch of blowtorch wizardry, and of course very effective blueberry stains. This project required so many artistic disciplines, bookbinding, clay, raku firing, drumming, poetry, and then wrap it up in a performance. It was a fun idea, but it didn't bring home the bacon. I was compelled to do the performance, because sometimes it's important to amuse the muse within. And I seem to do that a lot. Years before I dug new digs out of the ground, I discovered an ancient Adirondack observatory on a hike into Indian Pass. Don't go looking for it now. It's not really there. This is a pencil drawing of the remains I saw, and I added a traditional Adirondack balustrade border to the drawing. That discovery led to many more like this one, where I'm observing the ruins of an ancient Adirondack city in the Jay Mountain Wilderness. And on a hike with my daughter, not only discovering the ruins of an Adirondack castle, but doing so in the 22nd century. This is why I love being an artist and letting your imagination just take you away. With my growing obsession over discovering ancient artifacts and civilizations, 
I started working more in clay and making what I call towers. These are objects I supposedly dug out of the ground of unknown origin and purpose. But I gave them purpose by making books that would fit into their curious openings. This was the first of a series of towers I call Object Pierced by a Book. This tower was pit-fired and smoldered for 24 hours in sawdust, chemical salts, and hardwood. Here is where some copper carbonate heat flashed on the clay and the reddish hues would be fired on stains from iron oxide. I burnished it using an intaglio burnisher that I once used on my etching plates. So it has a slight sheen and a very nice smooth finish. I matched the colors of the object with the marbleized paper and then dyed the sewing threads to match the paper colors. I took the sewing threads and punched them through the spine and tied them tightly around a cutting from a red twig dogwood. The book measures 9 by 7 inches and has five signatures of 20 pages each for a total of 100 pages. I liked it so much I kept it for myself and used it for my diary for several years. And now it sits filled with ancient thoughts and memories. On coming videos of Eating Art, I'll be making a series of towers and books that I call Tower of Inspiration. I'll be using oil paints, gold and silver leaf to make the tower look aged. We'll also be visiting Sue's Pottery Studio and here's a sample of that. And uh, I'll just peel this off now. So there you see the little pieces. It helps impregnate those little pieces down into the clay. And this is a form that I threw on the wheel. We'll have lots more of Sue at work in her clay studio. But also, Sue will show us her latest work in weaving. And I've got to show you a sample of that. So this is a twill, cotton twill. I'm going to make a set of napkins. And uh, I wanted something I can actually use every day. Well, I've got to really wrap this up now. I've made so much work for myself collecting birch bark and beech leaves for use on my book covers. I'm going to be making 21 of these little birch bark books. Very simple. One sewn signature binding, some beautiful cotton paper, Japanese paper. I'm going to make 21 of them and put them around the trail on Easter morning for an Easter morning book hunt. I don't tell anybody. It's a secret. And the beech leaves that I've collected are going to be used for book covers like this one. I've used birch, beech, and Japanese paper on this cover. On the back it looks like this. Dark Delight. And inside is Reeves BFK. Beautiful paper I used to use for etching. Use it for watercolors now. Drawing. And we sell those in our gallery. Sue and I have had a gallery for over 40 years. We've represented numerous artists and craftspeople, as well as being very involved in the regional arts community. Our customers have supported us loyally over the years, and now we are seeing their grandchildren continuing to visit us. Sue also enjoys knitting and offers a wide range of yarns for sale. Here's one of Sue's teapots. And there'll be lots more of Sue in the pottery studio. So come along with us for the ride. And if you like it, you know what to do. And thanks for watching.